Hi, this is a quick tutorial to explain the techniques and tips for creating leg joints, knee joints, so that the legs bend in the proper way, when you, especially when you're using target bones. The key tips, or summary, is to set the angle for the lower leg and to also use angle constraints for the lower leg. Okay, so first let's start with the basic construction of the lower body. A very common technique is to first start with the horizontal bone. And this is the bone that you'll move around to move the characters. And from that we will draw the upper leg and then the lower leg. And then I'm going to draw another bone that will be the foot target bone. I'm actually not going to draw the foot itself. I'm just going to draw the foot target bone. But to do that, first I'm going to click on Alt and click on the background. And that allows me to now make the target bone with no parent. So if I draw that bone, that target bone now has no parent. Now I'm going to go back and select the hip bone and draw the other leg and the lower leg and again press alt and create the target bone for the right leg. Now I'm going to add uh, the body bones. Now if I'm using the add bone tool, if I just press alt I can click on the hip and it will select. So whichever bone I click on with I, when I have alt pressed it will just select that bone. Now I can add a new bone for the hips. Now a good suggestion is to always name your bones appropriately, um, but we're just doing a quick tutorial so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, so the next thing that I want to do is set up these target bones. So for the lower leg, that's B3, I want it to point to B4. So I select that bone and I say target B4 and so now this bone 3 is going to select B4. Now if I select this bone 6 I want it to target B7 so I select bone 6 and tell it to target B7. Now with that I've got a basic rig set up and I can go over here in the bone manipulation tool and I can move this up and down. Now notice that these legs are bending kind of in the opposite way that I want them to um, bend because I'm actually trying to create a character that's facing to the right and so I want these knees to bend to the right that's what I wanted to happen but they're not going in the direction that I want. Uh, one thing that you may have noticed if you saw the timeline I was actually editing on uh, different frames other than zero uh, if you're a beginner, you might want to set it to, to edit only on frame zero. But now I'll be on frame zero as I show you the rest. And the main difference you'll see is that when a, the bone manipulation tool, when I'm using that, um, the bone strengths are showing up. So let's take a look at this a little bit. And as I move this bone up and down, notice that sometimes the legs cross, sometimes they go to the right, sometimes they split, and uh, who knows what they're doing. They're doing all kinds of different things and notice that I'm on frame 0. Now let me go to frame 24 or some frame out here where I would actually do animation. So I click on frame 24. Now as I move the bones, it, they're always going to the left and never to the right, so it's a little bit different there. And all of this really is a reflection of the fact that we're the system is trying to bend the legs in a proper way because it has target bones that aren't moving and hips that are moving. So it knows it needs to bend um, the legs. Same thing if I move the target bone, you know, which way should that leg bend? And the question is, how does the system decide how to bend the bones? Okay, to see that, we go back to frame zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this uh, rotation uh, tool so that I can see the angle associated with a bone. So actually just to make sure that I don't accidentally move it, I'm going to click on the lower right leg bone and then click on this tool here and notice the angle is zero. 
Let me select this other bone and click the angle, and it's 0.7. Now I'm going to keep that tool selected and just change the different bones. And notice that the upper leg is 87 for the left one and 88 for the one on the right. And so you'll notice that what this is showing is the angle relative to the parent. If we click on this parent tool, we can see that the right um, leg and the left upper leg are both parented to the hip bone, and the lower legs are parented to the upper bones. You can see that. And so what the angles are showing is that counterclockwise, is a positive angle and clockwise is a negative angle. Now when you look at the bone angles sometimes you may see uh, uh, it may show up as a negative angle or it may show up as close to 360 um, but the easiest way to understand this is to actually um, select a particular bone with the uh, select bone tool and go to bone constraints and turn on angle constraints. So as we look at this lower bone we see that there's a minimum angle of negative 70 and a positive angle of 65 and if we click in there and I use a mouse wheel we can see which uh, constraint is being manipulated. So the positive one is the one with a counterclockwise rotation and the negative one is the one with the clockwise rotation. Okay, so I'm going to turn off angle constraints for just a second to show you some things. So neither one of these le lower legs have angle constraints turned on. Okay, so let's take a look at what happens. I'm going to go to the lower legs and I'm going to make both of these negative one in terms of the angle. So now, oops, change that back to negative one. Now both of the lower legs have an angle of negative one. And I'm going to now take the, when I make an adjustment to that, I'm going to reposition the target bones so that they snap into place. And I'm using MOHO um, 12. Um, so these target bones are snapping into place. Now, it, you didn't have to set it exactly to negative 1. Um, you could have set it to any negative angle, um, but I'm just using a very small angle so that the leg is almost completely straight. Now, as we said, when we're on frame 0 and I move this uh, hip bone, the, the legs may move in different directions, but when I go to frame 24, as if on a frame that I would actually animate on, now the bones are always going to move uh, to the right. And that's the way that I wanted them because my character is facing to the right uh, toward this fat side of the hip bone. And so I want the bo knee bones to go to that right side. So I set a negative angle there. So I'm going to delete the animation points, go back to frame zero, and now I'm going to change these angles to a positive one. So both of the lower legs I'm going to change to a positive one. And I'm going to again just readjust the target bones so that they're snapping into the right place. Then I'm going to again go back to frame 24 and notice now the bones will always move to the left. If I decide that I want to have them uh, go in opposite directions then I can easily just change them so that let's say the left leg bends to the left so we'll set it to a positive one and the right leg bends to the right so we'll set it to a negative one and you don't have to remember which is left and which is right you just play with it and you'll you'll know how to set it up and again I'm going to reset those target bones go back to frame 24 or 25 and notice that they bend out. And so no matter what kind of creature I'm, I'm creating, it follows those same rules. Now that's really all you have to do, but you can also set up uh, bone constraints if you like.
So here let me clear the animation, go back to frame 0, and I'm going to set these both back to negative 1 so that my character will um, always bend with the knees to the right. And then I'm going to uh, click on Select Bone Tool and set the constraints for each of these so that um, the bone will never uh, turn past zero. So I will pull this constraint down to zero and now that means that this bone could not even no matter what it's never going to bend in the opposite you know hyper hyper extend and I'm going to set the negative um, pretty high so that you could bend your leg pretty sharply and I'm going to select, select the other bone and set turn angle constraints and do the same thing so you don't have to do this but uh, that can be uh, helpful if you don't set up the bones exactly right and uh, you just may choose to do it that way and so now again if I go to a different frame I can manipulate those and now even if I tried I, I can't hyperextend the leg so that's another technique that you can do and the last thing to show you is um, I forgot to mention uh, this construction technique of having the hip bone in a horizontal thing one of the main reasons sometimes uh, cons riggers don't use that hip bone but I like it because it allows you to manipulate uh, the body the upper body independent of the lower legs so just to let you know that's the reason for constructing that way but now you can see that the character is very easy to manipulate the legs and they always work in the way that I would expect so I hope that's helpful and um, I hope you enjoy that.